Hi boys and girls, welcome back. My name is Elaya. Thank you for joining me today. Today we are going to do this lovely art and it has some beautiful flowers that you guys can paint at home. And there's a few things that you will need along with glitter. So come along and join me and we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're gonna make sure that our paper is facing us once again. Um, this is vertical, so make sure that the long way is facing you like this, so vertically, okay? I have my water ready and I have my watercolors ready as well. And we're going to paint our entire background. And this time I'm going to be using blue as my background. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and we're gonna take a few minutes just to finish up. Try not to use so much water because we wanna make sure that our paper doesn't get too wet um, where it's gonna tear. And remember, if you have a canvas, you can use a canvas at home instead. And if you use a canvas, I would just use paint. Don't use watercolor, so. But because I don't have a canvas right now, I'm just simply going to use my uh, paper and watercolor for the background. So we're gonna finish this up. And remember, don't use too much water, more paint, less water. Okay, so now that my painting is dried up with the background, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start drawing my flower. So I'm actually going to start somewhere towards the center area and I'm going to start with like a little circle. So you can go ahead and I'm gonna use my pencil to help me sketch out the flower. So I'll start somewhere in the center, maybe a little towards the left side a little more. But see, it's almost centered. So then I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna draw the petals. So I'm gonna start by drawing a line angled out, going this way towards this corner. And I want you to try to imagine the flower using the majority of this space here, okay? So we're going to go ahead and your petals do not have to be perfect. So just kind of make squiggly lines here and there. And then we're going to close our first petal by coming all the way in like that. Okay, so there goes my first petal. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to continue from here and I'm going to draw from this angle, you see how far I am, and I'm gonna draw another large petal going in all the way. And then I, again, I'm gonna do it towards the bottom and I'm gonna start actually from this um, piece right here, from this piece of this petal. And I'm going to draw another squiggly line and then bring it all the way in from, from the center. Then once again, and it's okay if it's not perfect because we're going to paint over it anyway. So we're gonna do another squiggly and we can actually close it all the way in actually. So, and to meet this other line. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect because the flowers are, are you know, the, the petals are always different for each flower. So now I have this one and that one's done. I'm gonna go ahead and draw um, my stem. So I'm just gonna go to the center, all the way down, off the page, all the way down, kind of a thin stem. And on the side, I kind of wanna draw a flower that will look as if as if it's coming on the side. So here I go. I'm going to come off of this petal and I want you to draw kind of like, almost like an M. So going here and here, see, kind of like an M. Okay, and then we're going to continue out, going this way. I know it's getting a little, little weird here, but I want you to bring that curve kind of this way and notice it's open from here to here okay now here's where i'm going to draw another piece that will join this flower kind of um it's kind of hidden it's going to be kind of hidden so notice from this petal i'm going to start from this line here and then i'm going to do kind of another curve like an m from here and then going all the way down like right there just a little off, okay? And then I'm going to make it kind of look like a little fan in a way, from here to here, kind of like a little V almost, okay, like that. 
I know it looks a little weird right now, but it, it'll make sense, believe me. Okay, so this is where we're going to do part of the actual inside of the flower. So I'm just gonna do a curve right there. And believe me, it'll make sense once we start to paint it. And we could do a line from here to here just to kind of bring that petal down. And then we could do another flower um, kind of petal going in this way, okay? Now, next thing we're gonna do, we're going to make the stem for this one. And this one's going to come all the way down. And then here to here, we're going to curve all the way down. All right, so now I have two flowers. And now I'm going to start using some paint. For these flowers, I'm going to use some tempera paint. Um, and actually, you could leave your stems this way if you wanted to, if you don't want to add any leaves. Um, for this case, I will add some leaves. So the leaves for this one, they're going to be kind of a little pointy, little sharp little leaves. So you can kind of make these little zigzags. And you can um, go ahead and and make them kind of thin, kind of zigzaggy, and then make it make the tip a little pointy, just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do my other leaf on this side, and the leaf on this side can come just slightly lower here. So I'm gonna make sure that it's once again pointy by doing these little zigzags, and then coming out, and then more zigzags, and then bring it in just like that all right so there go two little leaves i'm gonna do one coming off from this side of this stem and it's going to come off so i'm just gonna do one two three and then one long little um zigzag then come down and then one two three and then four just to kind of close up that leaf right there and I think I'm just gonna leave that alone for now okay so now we're going to do the fun part which is painting using the tempera paint and here I have my paint ready <coughs> excuse me I have red so I'm going to paint the red flowers and I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the petals only and again it's okay if I go over the lines because what this is doing it's actually just guiding me to know where I need to add my paint, that's all. So I'm going to go ahead and continue painting and you guys can um, follow with me and paint. Try to make sure that you cover up all of the lines as, as much as you can with some of the paint, okay? If you're using a canvas, um, you can of course also use um, an, a different type of paint, um, like um, acrylic paint. You, you can use that paint, and but again, acrylic paint does not come off your clothes, so be careful with that one, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and continue painting. Um, and it's okay if you go on the center of the, of the flower because we'll add some more paint later on, okay? So I'm just gonna continue painting uh, just the red petals for now. want to make sure that your flower petals have just enough paint so right now I'm just going over a little bit more of um, the paint just to get the color a little bit more rich so you might want to go over it one more time with enough paint just to make sure that also the background doesn't pop through and that your red is pretty rich on the page okay and I know that it overlapped here just a bit um, but it'll it'll turn out just fine you'll see in the end um, and you might want to make sure that your brush strokes are kind of in the direction of how the petal goes out from the center 
So you can also think about those things as we continue adding um, the center of our, of our flower as we paint it further, okay? Okay, so now that I am finished with the red here, um, and again, we wanna make sure that we add enough paint to the flower so that the background color doesn't start to show through. So I'm just gonna continue going over this piece right here, this petal, so that the blue doesn't show through from the background, okay? And once I'm done with this, I'm going to change colors now. And I'm actually going to um, start with the green for the stem. And I know I messed up a little bit here, but that's okay. I can just take a piece of um, napkin and just kind of brush it off. And then at the end, I'm going to add a little bit more watercolor just to kind of fix this mistake here. For the stem. And remember, your goal is to make sure that you covered up all of that pencil that we used on the paper so make sure um, again we're using tempered paint green and it's okay if it's not perfect you just do your best and you keep going and later on I'll try to fix that red um, and we all make mistakes so it's okay and remember when if we can't fix that red then I'll just make another leaf and it'll just be fine um, but right now I'm just gonna go ahead and um, continue painting this this green stem for you guys and then you guys can kind of follow with me, okay? Okay guys, so now that I added um, the extra blue and I kind of fixed it here. Um, and it's okay if it has a little bit of smear and red. Um, it's more balanced out now and I decided to go ahead and continue adding more blue to the rest of my background because that way it could balance out um, the background a little better since it got darker here. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and move on to the centerpiece of my flowers. And I actually mixed a little bit of temper paint here. Uh, and what I wanna do is actually make sure that my temper paint is kind of watery and I'm going to actually um, put it right in the middle of my flower. So here, let me see if you guys can get a better view. I'm just going to pour a little bit in the center there and then I'm going to pour some more on this side. Okay, so about that much just to kind of cover up. And here's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the back of my paintbrush and I'm going to smear across by trying to make some lines on my flower. I'm going to add some lines just like this almost like 
as if I'm making a little star. Try not to make sure that you don't mix too much of that white out. We don't want it to start um, ending up uh, where it's too dry in the in the center. So I'm just going to move some of my my white going this way and almost like a little star, if you want to call it like a little star. Okay. So next, I'm going to put that aside. And here I also have my yellow and I add a little bit to of water to my tempera paint because I don't want it too thick so I'm going to also pour a little bit there and a little bit on the center of the other flower and now I'm going to take the back of my brush once again and I'm going to start mixing up just a little bit into the white as you can see just a little bit and I'm gonna do the same to this one. Once again, it's okay if it goes out just a little bit. And this can get as, you know, as crazy as you wanna call it. You know, as crazy as you want it. And you can add a little bit more paint if you want. And you can have it all the way out just to kind of define those lines again. I'm going to add just a little bit more of this yellow here. And I'm gonna bring that out even further, boys and girls, so you guys can kind of see how far I'm adding it. And it's almost like the star is exploding. But it's actually pretty fun to just kind of mix your colors here and make sure that, you know, as long as they don't come out of the flower itself, but you guys can kind of mix it around here. And remember I said you can kind of create these lines where the petals would kind of end. You can kind of do that too. Well, I, make sure you don't cover too much of the red. So I'm just gonna kind of leave that alone. And I'm gonna let it dry for just a little bit because there's still a lot of paint there. Okay, I'm going to add some dots to the center. Um, they're going to be in black. And I'm just going to literally place some dots right in the middle of the flower just like that. You can use the back of the brush too if you want or you can just kind of you know put them in the center and you can kind of spread them out and it's okay if it kind of mixes up just a tiny bit. Don't mix it around. Don't shake it around your brush. Um, just dots like just literally dots in the center and again and I can use the back of my brush too if that's also a little easier for you guys. You can just do it kind of in the center of the flower. And then we're just going to let this dry. And I know it's a lot of paint, so it will take a little bit of time. But once it, once it's finished up and it's dried up, you'll see how beautiful it looks. And then we can add our glitter to it. Okay, and I think we're, we're just going to let this dry up for now. Okay, now that my flower is dried up, I'm going to take my glue and I'm just going to outline some of the flower so that I can add some glitter to it. I have different colors, but I'm just going to be using uh, my gold for this flower. So here, let me show you. I'm just going to outline, maybe if you want the center or the side, I think I'll just outline on the side of this uh, stem. And I'm going to outline the center of my leaf right here. And maybe just do a few lines from the from the leaf in, just like that. And it's okay if you guys just kind of get glue all over, like it smears a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna do the same to the other one, the other stem. And make sure you don't put too much glue. We don't want it overflowing too much. So let me do the rest here, the other one. Then we're going to add our glitter and it's okay if you just want to add the glitter and shake it Oosh. and it will get a bit messy that's okay because we're going to go ahead and shake it off out of our plate and then we'll see the end product afterwards So now as you can see it got full but I'm gonna take my plate and I'm going to go ahead 
pick my my art up and just kind of shake it off a little bit and then you can see how it's going to start to look and as you can see um, there are some little bits that might need a little bit so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and I'm gonna pinch it right over to cover up those pieces so that I can get my my little area filled up and I can shake it off one more time and I'm not gonna touch these pieces remember they have to dry up I'm gonna do a little bit more in the flowers at the top so that they can also have some glitter so here I go I'm going to outline the whole flower here both of them I added this piece here just to separate both flowers. That way you can distinctly see that there are two flowers there. So actually I'm gonna use this extra. I'm just gonna pour it right over the flower that I had here. I might as well use that same um, glitter that I had already used up. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do shake, shake, shake. Shake my glitter, shake, shake, shake all over so that I can get my glitter all over. And again, I'll shake the rest of it off um, onto my plate, that way we don't waste a bunch of glitter. And again, the glitter is optional. You don't have to do the glitter, it just adds a little extra, um, extra pop to your flowers, but you don't have to. And if you do decide to use the glitter, you can actually use whatever color you want, whatever you, um, you choose to do for your flower. I'm gonna shake it off one more time. Here we go. And now it needs to dry up and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll show you guys uh, the end product once, once it's finally dried up, okay? <laughs> 